Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm back with another uh, action figure review, although this will be a bit of a quickie because, I mean, I've pretty much reviewed this mold all... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, as my voice decides to quit on me. I've already reviewed this mold uh, with the 6-inch uh, Shock Trooper. So, if you want to check out a full, in-depth review on this mold, go ahead and uh, find uh, find the review on this guy. But, um, yeah, this is just going to be like a, a kind of a, a, a refresher on the mold. So, uh, we're just going to move these two off to the side and take a quick look at the packaging. So, right up front here, you have a very cool picture of the Imperial Stormtrooper right there. He is a Stormtrooper. Warning, please don't eat anything in this box. That'll be very bad for you. At, um, at the top here, you got Star Wars The Black Series, red and black, pretty much the basic scheme of this, or color scheme design of this line. And, uh, if you remember in my Harrison Dula review, I mentioned that I got her for twenty, uh, for twenty-eight bucks. Well, I got this guy for uh, twenty-five bucks at the uh, second annual uh, Dallas Toy Show, and um, it was really fun. I talked to a lot of toy collectors and stuff like that, and we agreed that Hasbro, you need to get off your lazy butts and redo that R2 mold now. Or as soon as you can. Please, we are begging you. Anyway, um, <laughs> I wasn't meaning to sound demand. Uh, I wasn't meaning to sound demand, you know, d demanding or whatever. But um, yeah, got them for 25 bucks. Then I got another one at Best Buy. So, hey, you can't have just one. You have to have at least two. But um, at the bottom, barcode, legalese. On this side, he is number 48 in the line, Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper, uh, 48, Black Series, Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper. <laughs> and you got your bio in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. So moving right along, um, they're going to fall on each other. <laughs> but here we have the Imperial Stormtroopers, and... These are very cool. I do like these. Um, I'm very glad I was able to get the regular Imperial Stormtroopers. And, um, yeah, they, um, they both come with the basic Blastech E11 blaster rifles, which you can in-slot into, or you can pretty much put in their holsters if you'd rather have them hold the, um, the Pulse Cannon, also known as the, uh, DL... Uh, DLT-20A, which is this blaster right here. This is the Pulse Cannon, also known as the DLT-20A. And, um, let me, uh, focus in on here. Very nicely done, very nicely weathered, and, uh, everything like that. So, very cool. And, as usual, the, uh, E-11s were left untouched, although you may notice some silver accents, that's because I took a silver sharpie to them, although it doesn't stay on the blasters for whatever reason, um, it tends to rub off, but whatever, I mean, I can always reapply, <clears throat> I can always reapply it, and, uh, apply some kind of clear coat or something, I need to weather these too, but, um, yeah, they're your basic Stormtrooper E11 blaster rifles, so nothing too special, um, and, um, yeah, and they're the, these guys have the same articulation as, uh, as these guys, um, so if you've seen that review, you know what to expect, and if you have the mold already, you know what, what to expect, you got a ball joint on a hinge at the head, so great range of movement there, you got a ball hinge shoulder that doesn't get you out that far, but, you know, it's not that, it's not that useless if you can, uh, use your imagination, uh, swivels around, swivel bicep, uh, double jointed elbows, the, um, both wrist swivel, um, the one with the, the hand with the trigger finger, 
um, hinges up and down, whereas the one on the left without the uh, without the trigger finger hinges in and out. Ball jointed torso, uh, ball ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and ball hinged ankles with the rockers. So, like I said, very nicely po uh, posable figures. And um, just so you know, the um, oh Jesus. <laughs> Um, the spots on his shoulder pad right here and on his helmet and I guess his other shoulder pad, I don't know how the, I don't know how those got on there. I honestly don't. And I tried to get them off, but they just won't come off. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't really mind. I could just count that as like battle damage or something. But, anyway. I mean, they didn't come out of the box that way. Um, I think maybe, um... Maybe it was because they were in my uh, my bag of toys, and um, because I don't really unpack my stuff when I go from my mom's to my dad's because we're only uh, going to be, um, we're not going to be like, a, first off, it's not that far of a drive, and second, um, it's like, I don't know, five minutes or less, maybe six minutes or less, um, depending on traffic, I guess. But, um, also, my dad doesn't, or, well, I already said my dad doesn't live that far, and he fell over, so who cares? But, um, also, too, I mean, my dad, uh, he just, he, um, I mean, well, I don't know, I mean, he doesn't live that far. That's basically it. And plus, it's just, it's um, every other weekend that I go up to him and spend the weekend with him, with my brother. So, really, what's the point of always unpacking your stuff and repacking it again? Just saying. But anyway, that's my quickie review of the Imperial Stormtroopers. Um, I'm sorry, this one doesn't want to stand. These guys just don't like to stand for whatever reason. Uh, Hasbro should uh, make the ankle joints a little less ratcheted because they are heavy ratchets so they're a little too heavy but um anyway hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one